made on the course yes it is amazing uncle is saying if master paul offers you to be partner sir i would if i were you if you will excuse me said bassett so let me excuse he wants to leave and he is saying if master paul gives you a suggestion makes an offer to you to be a partner to be one of the partners in our partnership sir you will not be at a loss otherwise rest everything depends on you oscar crosswell thought about it i'll see the money he said no first of all i would like to witness i would like to see the money myself then only i'll be able to trust what you are saying otherwise what how do you how do you make me believe you they drove him they drove home again and sure enough basset came round to the garden house with 1500 pounds in notes the 20 pounds reserve was left with joe joe glean in the turf commission deposit a kind of account was there and in that 20 pounds were kept as reserve so he brought this 1500 pounds money in notes notes means bills okay you see it's all right uncle i am when i am sure then we go strong for all we are worth we deserve it don't we basit don't we deserve tell basit we do we do deserve master paul basit is saying and when are you sure said the uncle laughing oh well sometimes i am absolutely sure like about daffodil said the boy and sometimes i have an idea and sometimes i haven't even an idea have i basit means it all depends yes whenever i have an idea we put money and when we don't have any idea i do not have any idea we do not feel like putting any money yes uncle yes basit am i right he is just trying to confirm through basit then we are careful and when we do not think that uh, we will win we do not we are careful enough because we mostly go down because whenever i do not have positive vibes and if we go against my vibes we are sure to lose so for that purpose we are always careful you do do you and when you are sure you like about daffodil what makes you sure sunny so how can you say dear sunny dear son that you should put money this time on daffodil how can you say oh well i don't know said the boy and is it the boy was feeling uncomfortable in his saying that i myself do not know why i would why i want to why i prefer to put money on daffodils this time but i feel i have got this vibe so i have told you but don't ask me the reason how i am sure you know uncle that's all it's as if he had it from heaven sir basit retreated basit is saying now coming back and he is saying because he was about to leave so he is saying while leaving so he is saying sir i told you he gets everything from god god tells him i should say so said the uncle okay but he became a partner and when the le- when the ledger was coming on paul was sure about lively spark which was a quite inconsiderable horse lively spark also horse the boy insisted on putting a thousand on the horse basset went for 500 and oscar cresswell 200 lives park came in first and the batting had been 10 to 1 against means 10 times they won paul had made 10000 now you know the boy insisted on putting a thousand since he had put 1000 and 10 times it was put so boy made 10000 you see he said i was absolutely sure of him the boy is the boy is saying uncle i was quite sure about the winning of this horse this time so i won even oscar cresswell had cleared 2000 look here son he had also put money look here son he said this sort of thing makes me nervous <laughs> so whatever you are saying that is just going beyond me i am not able to understand what you are saying exactly what you mean by clairvoyance or god tells you each and everything i am getting nervous it need not uncle perhaps i shan't be sure again for a long time uncle just trust me because i do not know that after some time i will be able to make money or not but for a long time now i will not be able to get money 
but what are you going to do with your money with your money means this 10000 pounds what are you going to do with this money asked the uncle uncle is asking of course said the boy i started it for my mother actually uncle i started this race i started putting putting money on this race just for my mother she said she had no luck because my father is unlucky so i thought if i was lucky i it might stop whispering whispering there must be more money there must be money right this kind of phrase were heard often heard in the household so what might stop whispering a house a, a house i hate a house for whispering actually uncle every time i hear all these whispering there must be more money there must be more money so uncle was asking and the child said that our house what does it whisper what does your house whisper why why the boy fidgeted he just uh, dashed back and is asking why uncle i don't know why are you asking me he felt a bit irritation but it's always short of money you know uncle every time in a household in a family there is a shortage of money i have found every time a shortage a strange shortage of money every time i have found i know it son i know it i know that your family means your father your mom they both are not rich they both are quite poor so you all might face this hardships i know you know people send mothers uh, you know people send mother rich don't you uncle rich means warning and uh, for the recovery of money i am afraid i do said the uncle he is saying i am afraid i know and then the house whispers like people laughing at you behind your back i am all it's awful that is why i thought if i was lucky i thought to prove whether i am lucky or not you might stop it added the uncle the boy watched him with blue big blue eyes that had an uncanny strange cold fire in them and he said never word well then said the uncle what are we doing now what are we doing with this 10000 pounds money i should not like my mother to know i was lucky said the boy yes the boy is saying please do not tell my mother that i have earned money from this race and don't tell your mother my mother that i am lucky why not son it's a good news it's a good message to your mother so why should not i share this thing with your mother she would stop me uncle if you tell my mother that i have won all this money from winning in the race she would stop me from putting money on horses i don't think she would i don't think she would stop you oh and the boy read in an odd way i don't want her to know uncle uncle please please do not share anything with my mother in the very beginning i told you that please make a god promise that you would not share you are not going to share anything and you did make a promise so please uncle please do not share anything with my mother oh all right all right son we will manage it without her knowing they manage it very easily paul now this is the planning what they are doing and in what way they are sending the money to his mother paul at the other suggestion handed over 5000 pounds to his uncle who deposited it with the family lawyer who was then to inform paul's mother that a relative had put 5000 pounds into his hands which sum was to be paid out a thousand pounds at a time on the mother's birthday for the next 5 years means out of 10000 the boy gave 5000 to uncle paul and told him uncle please give it to my mother indirectly so it's up to you how you manage so it is uncle's planning that they hired a lawyer and they gave this 5000 money to this lawyer and makes made such an arrangement that on every birthday on every birthday of his mother five means one one thousand pounds are to be given and what was what was the logic the lawyer should the lawyer was supposed to go to her mother and tell her that one of your relatives has left this money has handed me this money uh, for you as a birthday present okay so she will have a birthday present 
of a thousand pounds for five successive years continuous five regular years said uncle Oscar I hope it would not make it all the harder of for her later means for next five years she would not have to face such hardships. Paul's mother had her birthday in November mind it in the month of November she had her birthday and the house had been whispering worse than ever lately recently lately means recently now when her birthday was there the house was whispering in a louder voice there must be more money there must be more money in this way this whispering was going on even in spite of his luck even in spite of winning this much money Paul could not bear up against it. In the beginning Paul did not want it and Paul did not tolerate it. He was very anxious to see the effect of. Of his birthday letter telling his mother about the thousand pawns. When there were no visitors Paul now took his meals with his parents as he was beyond the nursery control. His mother went into town nearly every day she had discovered that she had an odd neck a quality a talent different talent she had got of sketching furs and dress materials. So, she worked secretly in the studio of a friend who was the chief artist for the leading drapers drapers means who stitch dresses and cloths right. So, she drew the figures of ladies in furs and ladies in silk and sequence for the newspaper advertisements in this way she used to give newspaper advertisements. This young woman artist earned several thousand pounds a year, but Paul's mother only made several hundreds. This is the difference that lady was earning her one of her friends in the town. She used to earn thousands of pounds, but on the contrary Paul's mother used to earn only a hundreds of pounds and she was again dissatisfied that is why she is not satisfied. She so wanted to be first in something and she did not succeed every time she wanted to be first, but she was not successful even in making sketches for drapery advertisements. For those advertisements her designs were there, so in that case also she could not stand first. That is why she is not satisfied and that is why she is found every time she is found saying calling herself unlucky. She was down to breakfast on the morning of her birthday. So, on her birthday in the month of November when she was sitting at, at her dining table for breakfast Paul watched her face as she read her letters. He knew the lawyer's letter as his mother read it her face hardened and became more expressionless. Paul was shocked what happened she must be happy when she, when she came to know that he had got money. So, he was confused why she was expressionless then a cold determined look came on her mouth she hid the letter under the pile of others and said not a word of it. Paul was shocked that she must be happy, but she did not speak even a single word. Did not you have anything nice in the post for your birthday mom? Paul is asking mom did not you find anything on your birthday? Quite moderately nice she said her voice cold and, abs and absent she went away to town without saying more not much only a little bit I have got. But in the afternoon uncle Oscar appeared he said Paul's mother had had a long interview with the lawyer asking if the whole 5000 could not be advanced at once as she was in debt. When uncle came to the house in the afternoon on the same birthday then only Paul came to know that uh, when she came to know that uh, she had got this money from the lawyer she at once uh, went to the lawyer and asked him requested him a lot that she wanted this money in single installment in advance means the whole 5000 rupees in advance which was supposed to be given supposed to be handed over to her in 5 equal installments of 1000 each right she wanted that is why they had a discussion hot discussion about that. What do you think uncle said the boy I leave it to you son. So, what do you think uncle what should I do should I give it whole to her or should I give only in installments. So, it 
it is up to you dear son. Oh, let her have it then. Oh, uncle, if she really requires 5000 in advance, then let she have. We can get some more with the other, said the boy. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Larry said, Uncle Oscar. Uncle Oscar is explaining this idiomatic phrase, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Beta, I do not think we should give the whole money because we should keep something in reserve, a bird in the hand, whatever the amount we have got is worth is equal to the amount we have kept in reserve. So, I do not think, but I am sure to know for the Grand National or the Lincolnshire or as the Derby, I am sure to know for one of them said Paul. Now, Paul is saying if we give the whole 10,000 or 5,000 whatever you think suitable, if we give the whole amount to my mom. But dear, you will have nothing left. No problem. Now, I have recently I have got an idea. I have got a wife. What? That we are going to win again. Lincolnshire. So, uncle Oscar signed the agreement and Paul's mother touched the whole 5000. And in this way, Paul's mother got whole 5000 money. Then something very Then something very curious happened, something strange happened after that 5000 money. The voices in the house suddenly went mad. They grew louder and louder and they went mad. Like a chorus of frogs on a spring evening, there were certain new furnishings and Paul had a tutor. He was really going to Eton, his father's school in the following autumn. There were flowers in the winter and a blossoming of the luxury now as they have got money as a mother as his mother has got money now there was much more demand for money man is never satisfied we are never satisfied with what we have got every time we keep on saying ye dil mange more yes we want money we want more and more money so was his mother also right behind the sprays of mimosa and almond blossoms and from under the piles of iridescent cushions simply trilled and screamed in a sort of ecstasy. There must be more money. Once again, these whisperings are there. Oh, there must be more money. Oh, now, 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 there must be more money, more than ever, more than ever. This type of whispering were heard. It frightened Paul terribly. He studied away at his Latin and Greek with his tutor. He had got a tutor and he had started going to his father's school, but his intense hours were spent with Bassett. Me most of the time, though he had got tutor, private tutor at his home, but he did not feel like attending his classes and most of the time he felt like spanning with Bassett, his partner. The Grand National had gone by, he had not known, so he did not know and that race was over and had lost a hundred pounds. Summer was at hand, he was in agony, he was in tension for the Lincoln. Lincoln is the name of the horse as I told you earlier. But even for the Lincoln he did not know and he lost 50 pounds. He became wild eyed and strange as if something were going to explode in him. He was feeling something wrong in him when he found that he had lost 50 pounds. Okay, students. Let it alone son, do not mind son. So, what is the part and parcel of this field? So, do not you bother about it, urged uncle Oscar, he is trying to neutralize the boy. But it was as if the boy could not really hear what his uncle was saying, but it seemed that this boy was in the different world, he was thinking something different. I got to know for the derby, I got to know for the derby, the child retreated the big blue eyes blazing with a sort of madness. His mother noticed how overwrought he was. You had better go to the seaside. Beta, do not be tense to such an extent. Something wrong may happen to you. So, better you go to the seaside and your mood will be changed. You will be okay, right? Would not you like to go now to the seaside instead of waiting? Whom are you waiting for? Just go get relaxed. I think you had better. 
she said looking down at him anxiously she was feeling anxious about her child her heart curiously heavy because of him but the child lifted his uncanny blue eyes i could not possibly go before the derby mom he said i could not possibly mm -hmm. it's not possible for me to go to the seaside to get relaxed because the derby race is about to happen so about to start so i just want to win this race anyhow then only i would be able to go to the seaside to get relaxed why not she said her voice becoming heavy when she was opposed when she found that her child was going up against her why not you can still go from the seaside to see the derby with your uncle oscar if that is what you wish okay okay you wish to go to derby then i got an idea for you first you go to the seaside get relaxed and then you go to the derby is it okay now so besides i think you care too much about these races and i have found that nowadays you are growing too much serious about these races don't you think you have got too much involved in these races being a child you should not hmm it's a bad sign dear my family had been a gambling family and you won't know till you you know when i was not married my whole family was based on gambling so you know you won't know till you grow up how much damage it was it has done these races are ultimately endless but it has done damage to my family to my parents i shall have to send basit away and ask uncle oscar not to talk racing to you unless you promise to be reasonable about it go away to the seaside and forget it you are all nerves yes you are very much nervous you are growing nervous so i'll drive away basit from our household and i'll tell uncle oscar to take you to the seaside if you do not promise me i'll do what you like mom so long as you don't send me away till after the derby the boy said i promise i'll go but please let me go to the derby right now send you away from where 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 do you want to go just from this house mom please let me go away from this house i just want to leave this house because i am not feeling comfortable in this house because every time i am hearing so many different different voices sounds there must be more money there must be more money i am fed up yes he said gazing at her yes mom please please send me why you curious child what's wrong with you what makes you care about this house so much suddenly i never knew you loved it i never knew that you love this house he gazed at her without speaking he continuously looked at his mother without uttering even a single word he had a secret within a secret something he had not divulged means disclosed he never shared this secret he had got even to basit even to his partner basit also he had never shared or to his uncle oscar also he had not shared but his mother after standing undecided and a little bit sullen nervous for some moments said now he is going to share now he is going to disclose his secret with his mom <coughs> listen very well then don't go to the seaside but his mother after sta standing undecided and a little bit sullen for some moments said okay okay beta if you do not want to go to the seaside very well then don't go to the seaside till after the derby and if you do not wish it but promise me you won't let your nerves go to pieces but beta please make a promise that you will not grow nervous and anxious like this because i cannot see you nervous in such a nervous state of mind make a promise oh no said the boy case will all of sudden the boy spoke out i won't think much about them mother you need not worry i would not worry mother if i were you yes if you were me and i were you said his mother i wonder what we should do would that i wish we could exchange this means you became me and i became you if you were me okay if you were me and i were you said his mother i wonder what we should do but you know you need not worry mom 
don't you the boy is repeating that mom please don't worry i should be awfully glad to know it she said wearily means tired in a tired state she is saying oh well you can you know i mean you ought to know you need not worry mom please you will come to know why you should not worry the boy is bit by bit he is coming to the point ought i what should i know then i'll see about it she said paul's secret of secrets was his wooden horse now he is sharing the secret that everything was this rocking horse this wooden horse that which had no name since he was emancipated from a nurse and a nursery governess he had had his rocking horse removed to his own bedroom at the top of his house surely you are not too big for a rocking horse his mother had remonstrated she said no beta no you are not for this horse you are not made for this horse now you are grown up well you see mom till i can have a real horse i like to have some sort of animal about it had been about had been his quaint answer mom i need someone at least uh, as long as i do not grow up i need an animal to share my things with to ask my questions i need at least an animal so do you feel he keeps you company what do you think beta you are talking about this wooden horse so what happened what's wrong with this with that horse do you think that horse gives you company she laughed oh yeah yeah he is very good he always keeps me company when i am there said paul so the horse rather shabby dirty stood in an arrested prance in a jumping position that is prance in the boy's bedroom the derby was drawing near and the boy grew more and more tense and he hardly heard what was spoken to him he was very frail weak and his eyes were really uncanny strange his mother had certain strange seizures of uneasiness about him sometimes for half an hour she would feel she would feel a certain anxiety about him that was almost anguish remorse feeling feelings of remorse she wanted to rush to him at once and know that he was safe two nights before the derby she was at a big party in town when one of her nurses when one of her rushes of anxiety about her boy her first bone gripped her heart till she could hardly speak she fought with the feeling might and main because she believed comma for me because she believed in common sense but it was too strong she had to leave the dance all of a sudden she had to leave that party when she came to know about a child and go downstairs to telephone to the count country the children's nursery governess was terribly surprised and startled at being rung up in the night means the nurse who was the governess also she was taking care of these children so all of a sudden in the midnight she got a phone call she received a phone call and she was surprised are the children all right miss wilmot wilmot is the name of the governess and uh, she was asked about the well being of the children and she said oh yes they are quite right they are quite all right master paul and how about master paul is he all right he went to bed as right as a trivet means they all went there shall i run up and look at him ma'am if you wish should i go to him and uh, look at him if you wish no said paul's mother reluctantly unwillingly she said no no you don't need no don't trouble it's all right don't sit up we shall be home fairly soon she did not want her son's privacy intruded upon her upon she did not want to disturb okay so very good said the governess it was about 1 o'clock when paul's mother and father drove up to their house they got back from the party as in the very beginning of the chapter we have come to know that they had very lavish lifestyle so right now also they were found in the party it shows that they were spending money thriftily <coughs> right so 
It was about one o'clock when Paul's mother and father drove up to their house. All was still, means silent. Paul's mother went to her room and slipped off her white fur cloth. She had told her maid not to wait up for her. She heard her husband downstairs mixing a whiskey and soda. Right. So and then because of the strange anxiety at her heart, she stole upstairs. Means without being noticed. she went upstairs to her son's room noiselessly she went along the upper corridor was there a faint noise what was it she heard a strange noise